we're up. Good morning. Uh, this is basically the typical morning for me. And um, the only thing that's a little bit different is today we're starting a new collection. Actually, not today. Monday and it's Thursday. But these last couple days and today are basically just uh, outlining, drawing all the line drawings for, for the Shelburne Farms collection. Which I'm super excited about. Um, it's just been it's been a lot of computer work lately. You know, basically for the past few days, uh, about five hours of creating these line drawings um, for this for this collection. So what I mean is, ooh, that's a little hot. You see that? That's what we're shooting for. Um, but yeah. A little coffee, come into the office, boot the computer up, Lincoln goes outside and then <laughs> what's up over here? Let me just show you, before we get started, one of my favorite things to do is lay out a schedule for myself. So uh, it's the beginning of March and you know, I'm giving myself about two months to get this project done. I'm slightly ahead of schedule right now. Hopefully we can keep it that way. We're gonna dive into the computer, boot up Adobe Illustrator, and I guess get to work. So all the line drawings are finished up. Check it out. So that should be everything we need as far as drawings go to get started. Uh, I did order all the wood I need for this. Um, so that should be here. It usually takes I don't know, one to two weeks, which is fine because the next thing on our list, the next thing we're starting today is building the frames. I think, I think for this collection, I want to do all maple frames. I went back and forth between doing some maple and some cherry, but the more I think about it, the more I think I want to just do all maple and have this thing really pop. We can always change it once we see what it looks like, but yeah, let's jump into that. The other thing I did yesterday, I took Sunday and I converted my outfit table or my main workbench here in the shop. So we'll start off with that. You'll see me shorten that thing up and then we'll, uh, we'll get started on the frames.
All right, so as you can see, I finished up the bench. I ended up painting it black, which I didn't show, but I mean, you can see it. And I ended up adding a drop leaf. So I went from having an eight foot table to now a four foot table. This is just four by four square, uh, but I needed, well, I think I need that extra couple feet. So if I put the drop leaf off, it'll make it six um, and I'll have a little extra to, uh, you know, if I need to rip big sheets of plywood, stuff like that. Okay. Now back to the frame making, uh, where do we leave off? Okay. Right. We cut the wood. Right now everything is cut. We've got a whole pile of these and it's time to turn them into frames.
All right, thank you guys all for watching. We've got all the frames done. We're moving on to the next step, putting these things together. So tune into the next build video. I'm just gonna keep this series going as long as this collection takes me to make. Be sure to subscribe if you've not subscribed, that way you don't miss any of them. We'll see you next time. If you wanna see what this looks like, you're gonna have to wait. Thank you.